Wabagong shark. The wabagong, also known as the carpet shark, earns its name from the intricate patterns covering its body, like a beautifully woven rug. These patterns let it blend almost perfectly with the ocean floor, so both prey and predators often swim right past without noticing it. This shark lives in shallow waters near coral reefs or sandy seabeds, especially around Australia, Indonesia, and parts of the Western Pacific at depths between 3 and 40 meters. The wabagong rarely swims long distances. It prefers to rest quietly on the seabed, waiting patiently for its next meal. Around its mouth, small skin flaps resemble seaweed, adding to its camouflage. When an unsuspecting fish or small creature comes close, the wabagong strikes in an instant, clamping down with rows of sharp teeth. Goblin shark. Among all known shark species, the goblin shark might be the strangest. With a long, blade-like snout, it looks like a creature straight out of prehistory. Scientifically known as Mitsukurina austini, the goblin shark comes from an ancient lineage that dates back around 125 million years. It inhabits deep waters between 100 and 1,200 meters, making human encounters extremely rare. Adults can reach 3 to 4 meters in length. Its elongated snout is packed with sensors that detect electric signals from nearby prey. What's even more fascinating, its jaws can shoot forward like a spring to catch prey, such as fish, squid, or crustaceans hiding in the dark depths. Goblin sharks aren't dangerous to humans. They are slow, solitary hunters that rely on stealth and patience to ambush their prey far below the ocean's surface. Ghost shark. Despite its name, this creature isn't a true shark. It comes from an ancient lineage that split from modern sharks over 400 million years ago, making it one of the oldest surviving species on Earth. Scientifically, it's known as Chimera monstrosa, the ghost shark lives at depths between 200 and 2,600 meters, far below where sunlight can reach. It was only first recorded alive in 2009 off the coast of California. It feeds on small invertebrates, worms, and crustaceans, using sensory organs on its snout to detect subtle movements in the muddy seafloor. Megamouth shark. Of all deep sea sharks, the megamouth is perhaps the most mysterious. It's massive with an enormous mouth, yet it's almost never seen by humans. Known scientifically as Megachasma pelagios, this species was first discovered in 1976, one of the most surprising shark discoveries of the 20th century. It inhabits depths between 120 and 1,000 meters below the surface. Adults can grow up to 5 meters long and weigh about a ton. The upper side of its body is dark, while the underside is lighter, helping it blend into the dim light of the deep sea. When feeding, it swims slowly with its mouth wide open, filtering plankton, jellyfish, and small fish carried by ocean currents. Around its mouth are patches of bioluminescent tissue that glow blue-green, attracting tiny prey. Sensitive organs near its head help detect even the faintest movements in the darkness. Slow and elusive, the mega mouth is so rare that nearly everything we know about it comes from specimens accidentally caught by fishermen. Hammerhead shark. This is one shark you could never mistake for another. Its head is shaped like a giant hammer, and that's exactly where it gets its name. Scientifically called Sphernidae, the hammerhead is found in tropical and subtropical oceans across the world, from the Atlantic and Pacific to the waters of Indonesia and Australia. They often gather in large schools near the Galapagos Islands, Hawaii, and the Gulf of California. The hammer-shaped head isn't just for looks. It acts as a navigation tool, a prey detector, and helps balance the shark while swimming. With eyes set wide apart, the hammerhead has an almost 360-degree field of view. It can see above and below at the same time. Its head is covered with thousands of tiny electrical sensors, called ampullae of Lorenzini, allowing it to detect faint electrical signals from hidden prey buried in sand. Thanks to this ability, hammerheads are among the ocean's most efficient hunters, taking on fish, octopuses, and even stingrays. 
Frilled shark. Long and slender like a snake, with wavy fins that ripple along its body, the frilled shark looks like a living fossil from the age of dinosaurs. This ancient species has existed for over 80 million years, making it one of the most primitive sharks still alive today. It lives deep in the ocean, between 150 and 1,500 meters, mainly in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. It can grow up to two meters long with a slim body covered in rough scales and six pairs of gills that stretch across its sides. Its jaws are filled with hundreds of needle-like teeth arranged in several rows, perfect for catching slippery prey like squid, fish, or even smaller sharks. Unlike most sharks that rely on their tails to swim, the frilled shark moves with slow, snake-like undulations. This unique motion lets it glide through the dark depths quietly without creating waves that might alert its prey. Thresher shark. Its long, whip-like tail isn't just for show. The thresher shark uses it as a weapon, striking and stunning prey in open water. Found in tropical and subtropical oceans from the Atlantic to the Pacific, it usually lives between 100 and 500 meters deep. Including its tail, the thresher can reach up to 6 meters in total length. Its hunting technique is remarkable. It lashes its tail through schools of fish, stunning several at once, before swallowing them whole. Fast, agile, and precise, the thresher shark is one of the ocean's most skilled predators. Despite its power, it rarely poses a threat to humans and tends to keep its distance. Greenland Shark in the freezing waters of the Arctic lives a slow-moving giant, the Greenland shark. Scientifically known as Somniosis microcephalus, this massive shark can grow up to 6 or 7 meters long. Some individuals are believed to live more than 400 years, making them the longest living vertebrates on Earth. It moves slowly, feeding on fish, seals, and even the remains of larger sea creatures. Its lower jaw is lined with sharp teeth for gripping prey, while the upper jaw holds smaller teeth to keep it from escaping. Often found alone in deep, icy waters, sometimes over 1,200 meters down, the Greenland shark remains one of the ocean's most mysterious predators. Though rarely seen and no real threat to humans, its sheer size and longevity make it a true ruler of the Arctic deep.